I just left my uh, friend's place in Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, I meant to get on the road a little bit earlier than this, but uh, haven't seen it, each other in a long time, so we got to chit-chatting, and his brother was there, so uh, I extended to stay a little. And uh, now, I'm going to go on 202 here, uh, west, to, and this will go into Interstate 10 West. Now, my original plan was to go to Arizona State Route 303. But, unknown to me, and unknown to uh, my friend and his brother, uh, Interstate was, uh, 10 was closed going westbound. Uh, I couldn't believe it that they actually shut down a interstate. Uh, all, all lanes, not just one lane or whatever, it was all lanes of traffic. But it is what it is and you have to adapt when you travel. Yeah. I managed to go up uh, Arizona 101 and I got up to uh, Grand Avenue and I took that westbound which goes into Highway 60 which goes into Highway uh, 95 I believe. Hold on, let me check my notes. It was Arizona Highway 93. I take 95 to Bull. Uh, now, this brings you up to, uh, if you follow 95 up, it brings you to Interstate 40, and then from 40, you go over to uh, uh, where you follow the road to Kingman, and then there'll be signs for Bullhead, and that's where I'm uh, ending up. Now, of course, I'm using a GoPro camera, and once again, GoPro never seems to uh, uh, be the greatest thing. It always disappoints. That's what I always say about GoPro. Um, if I could find a better uh, action camera, to mount on the motorcycle I would and I, I'm going to be shopping for one because this is uh, getting ridiculous. Now also this is the uh, Joshua Tree Scenic Parkway it's called and they also have future plans for this to be uh, Interstate 17. Eventually you'll be able to uh, to take where, wherever Interstate 17 takes you. Uh, I think it takes you up through uh, uh, Vegas. So uh, stand by, they're working on it. These, these, these things take time and uh, hopefully it'll be a faster ride because I always cross over into the Nevada side of uh, going to Vegas. It's more scenic and it's faster. You stay on the Arizona side, it's not that scenic. Now I pulled over the road because of course I take pictures too and I rest whenever I, I want and uh, you get to see the view. Now uh, they don't, they do have a few public rest stops but uh, they're I never seen one going northbound. They're all going southbound. So uh, I don't really want to cross the road to get to it. This is a, even though it's only two lanes here, people do push it and they're driving over the speed limit. So you do have to be careful. And you, you can tell the roads are nice here. Uh, sunny day, beautiful out. Uh, I had no complaints. I had no no problem in riding, and I, I'm planning on going this way again. Uh, come uh, October, I'm planning on another trip. I just like taking this way. It's it's a beautiful country when you go this way. Maybe I'll try to look uh, for an alternative route, but 
I also have to make time, and uh, that that's important too. Now you can tell the sun is getting lower, so I wanted to get to uh, Bullhead before the sun goes down, but that didn't happen. By the time I got there, the sun went down. Uh, I needed gas, so I had pulled in for gas. That was the first uh, order of business, and the second order of business was uh, getting to the hotel and checking in. And then the third order of business was uh, getting something to eat. Now, I went to uh, In-N-Out Burger, that's in Laughlin. I, I love their burgers. They're, they're very good. And you can see here, uh, there's all the anti-traffic. I, I mean, you do see occasional trucks and everything, but it, it's a very line of traffic. The Joshua trees are very uh, beautiful. Now, a Joshua tree is really a yucca tree. We have yucca trees where I live in Texas, but they're not the same looking tree. The Joshua tree grows oddly compared to a, a, our yucca tree. So it's very interesting how nature uh, does that. And you can tell I'm uh, going along. No traffic here. And uh, it's beautiful. And I had no traffic all the way up to uh, 40. Now, one of the things is I had to get on 40 West when I uh, got, got uh, up to the intersection. And the, uh, the sun was in a position where I was totally blinded. It, it, you couldn't see. I, I was using my hand. It was still very, very hard to see. So if you're approaching Interstate 40, going to, to uh, Kingman, just be aware that sun is powerful and uh, I wish I had gotten there earlier uh, for, for that because it, it can be dangerous. I mean, it was so bright and everything and hazy, it was on the dangerous side. So just, just be aware of that when you're going through there. And I do wear, this, uh, you know, sunglasses and believe me, it, it didn't help that much. And here we are here. And like I said, uh, steady, slow but steady, we're getting up there. And I just wanted to show you some of the uh, scenery. It, it, even though it's desert, it's, it's beautiful. I'm on the Joshua Tree uh, Scenic uh, Parkway in Arizona. It's, uh, it's uh, the route number for Arizo Arizona Road is 93. Now, they're supposed to make this into an interstate on uh, the interstate. So, it's very beautiful, great place for uh, motorcycle riding. Uh, you can't see much on the GoPro. But it's really beautiful, the mountains and everything. The roadways are rolling uh, uh, rolling uh, roads and you got a lot of turns, which makes it ideal for motorcycle riding. Anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be doing any more video until I get to uh, Bullhead, uh, Arizona, which is right across the river from Laughlin. Get there before the sun goes down. It will be going down. Anyway, thanks for uh, following along. Well, that's about it for this video. Please click like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Have a good day, everyone. This is the turn off for Interstate 40, and like I said, uh, look at that sun. It is blazing, and when I got on the highway, it was directly in my face.